y'all Nigel here and welcome back to another video today's video is going to be a wash and go obviously when you see my hair like this is more than likely going to be a wash and go and today we're going to be trying out two new gels well new to me not necessarily new and they're from the main choice first we have the cheers gelato and then we have the proceed with caution killer curls brittle balance look both ways hair and edge gel and I'm just gonna be using the gel portion of this and not the edge control. But first, before we get into the video, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week, usually on Wednesday and Saturday. So if you're subscribed, you done hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and get started with the video. Also, okay, I've already cleansed my hair, deep condition. I will have all of my wash day um, products that I use today listed down below in the description box so make sure you check that out if you're just curious what I used. I already applied my leave-in. Um, I'll have that listed below but I used the Camille Rose coconut water leave-in that has become one of my faves and then because it's getting cold like it's real cold in Atlanta like real cold like I don't like it. Um, I feel like I can't just use a leave-in. I feel like I need some more moisture. So I'm just going to be using the My L Organics Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Hair Butter. And I've already done the little test um, with both of these gels to see if it pairs well, and it does. I just wanted to use this because it's um, a hair moisturizing butter. I haven't used it, so I'm trying to use things up in my collection and it seems to pair well with the gels. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this section with the Cheers Gelato Gel. Sorry y'all, I had to fix the lighting, it was going crazy. But I wanted to try the Cheers Gelato Gel for quite some time now, especially because one of my favorites here on YouTube, Quinn Ray, she she loved this darn gel. She loves her some the main choice Cheers Gelato. She loves this stuff. So I was like, let me go ahead and give this sucker a try. So actually, what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and apply this butter throughout the section and then go in with the gel. I normally apply both products um, section by section, but we gonna switch it up a little bit today. I'm gonna see if I can show y'all the consistency without pouring it out. You can kind of see it a little bit. It's hard because it's very liquidy. But we're just gonna go ahead and start off with this section right here and add the gel. It's very gooey. Now, I've been really interested in trying these gels out for a wash and go because typically the main choice gels don't have enough hold for me for my wash and goes. I like my wash and goes to be a little bit on the crunchy side because I want it to last. But like the 24 karat gold to me doesn't have enough. Um, and the braid out glaze, even though it's bomb for braid outs and twist outs, to me it doesn't have enough hold. So I'm curious to see if these two gels have the hold that I'm looking for. So far so good, it's really defining my curl. It looks really good. All right y'all, so now that you've seen a section, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and fast forward this, keep applying the gel, and then we'll come back once the set is all completed and we're ready to start off with the Proceed with Caution, Brutal Bounce, that long name, hair and edge gel. <laughs> Okay, 
y'all. So I am done applying the Cheers Gelato Gel and my curls look really good. They look really good. I just hope that this has enough hold because my hair feels real soft right now. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead with this Proceed With Caution Look Ways Hair and Edge Gel. Now, before I start applying it, I was trying to figure out which one is which because when you look at it, you can't really tell. They look like this. Then it says directions for hair gel, yellow. You apply to clean, wet, or damp hair in sections, blah, 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 blah. Directions for edge gel, clear. Apply to clean, wet, damp, or dry hair, blah, 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 blah. Now, which one of these is clear? Which one of these is yellow? Because they both got a tint to me. Do you see a clear one? Because I don't. I mean, it says the yellow is the hair gel. So maybe the darker one is the yellow one. Maybe this is supposed to be clear and it's not clear. Or I guess this is clear. This is yellow. Okay, we're gonna go with this side because when I go like this, this is more clear. Whereas this is more yellow. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Watch me put edge control all throughout this hair. I went ahead and applied the butter throughout my hair just to go ahead and get that step out the way. So this one is a lot thicker than the Cheers Gelato Gel. So just gonna go ahead. It has slip, just like the Cheers Gelato Gel. The Cheers Gelato Gel has more slip, but Still has some slip to it. Okay, curl's not looking too bad. All right, this is how my hair looks. I can tell that these curls or this gel has a little bit more hold thus far wet. It feels like it has more hold. We won't know until it dries but it does, definitely feels like it has a little bit more hold. So what I'm gonna do is continue to apply this throughout my hair. Ooh, I'm sorry, I looked in the mirror and the definition on this is real good. Okay, let's just keep going. I'm gonna play a little music for y'all so you don't get too bored. <laughs> So this is my hair completely done. And I have to say both sides look really good. The only thing is, is just the fill of the gel, just the fill of the Proceed with Caution Gel. It just seems like it's gonna have more hold compared to the Cheers Gelato, but they both feel really good. They both got my curls popping. So we're just gonna wait for it to dry because that is the true test. I'm gonna let this air dry for a little bit and then I'm going to sit under the dryer and let it dry fully all the way through. I'm going to do my same old banding method just to stretch out my hair a little bit and then I will show you all the final results and we'll get down into the nitty gritty, um, my final thoughts on these products. So I will see y'all tomorrow when this is dry. Hey y'all, my hair is completely dry. It's fluffed out, stretched out, all that good stuff. And these are my results. This is the gel from the Proceed with Caution section. And then these are my results from the Cheers Gelato. Y'all, my hair looks really good. I'm actually shocked. I kind of knew I would have good results with the Cheers Gelato just because a lot of people, aka Quinn Ray, <laughs> talk about this gel so much. So I felt like I would have good results. I just wasn't too sure about the hold. But I didn't expect for this uh, Proceed With Caution gel to, to act up like this. I, I didn't think she was gonna do it, but she did it. Let's get into the comparison. 
So as far as definition goes, I feel like both sides of my hair are defined, but I, in my opinion, the proceed with caution um, gel side is just a little bit more defined. There's a little bit less frizz than the Cheers Gelato. I mean, don't get me wrong, my hair is definitely defined, but I have not as much definition right here um, in like the nape area compared to over here. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's just a little bit more defined to me on this side. As far as when the products were being applied to my hair, they both had a bunch of slip. The Cheers Gelato had a little bit more slip just because it's a little bit more liquidy of a gel, whereas the Proceed With Caution gel, it's still liquidy in my opinion. It's not like a wet line extreme or a um, style factor gel. Those are pretty jelly, solid gels. Like if you turn the bottle upside down, the gel's not gonna come out. So the Proceed With Caution isn't as thick as those, but it's definitely thicker than the Cheers Gelato. As far as um, hold, I would say that the Proceed With Caution side has a little bit more hold. Um, I have a slight crunch to my hair, which I actually prefer. Um, this side, I don't really have any crunch. My hair is nice and soft. I mean, my hair is pretty soft on this side, but I still have that, that crunch that I like to have because that means that my wash and go is gonna last a little bit longer. As far as moisture goes, both sides feel pretty moisturized. This side feels more moisturized than the Proceed With Caution side. And I have to say that both of these mix well with my Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In and also the Myel Hawaiian Ginger Moisture RX um, hair butter that I use. Like I have no flakes on either side. They mix very well together. I notice that the gelato gives me more volume and I think that's because it doesn't have as much hold and so there's a little bit of frizz, not too too much, but it just voluminizes my hair a little bit more. I had to like pick out this side in order for it to match the volume of the Cheers Gelato side. Um, but I feel like the Proceed With Caution elongated my curls more so than the Cheers Gelato. The Cheers Gelato does have glycerin. It's pretty um, low on the list of ingredients. It's kind of like midway through and there's a pretty long list of ingredients. It does have aloe vera juice and it also has a lot of protein. In fact, the second ingredient on here is hydrolyzed rice protein. So if your hair is sensitive to protein and sensitive to aloe vera juice, this may not work for your hair. And then the Proceed With Caution Gel has aloe vera and it has glycerin, but I didn't really see any protein in here. Let me double check. Yeah, I don't see protein in here and I don't see any coconut oil. So both of these are coconut oil free. Now, as far as pricing, so the pricing for the Cheers Gelato is actually $14.99 and this comes with 12 fluid ounces of product. So this is actually a pretty decent amount. I didn't realize it was 12 ounces. I thought it was eight ounces. So it comes with a pretty good amount of product. Now this is $17.99. It is also 12 fluid ounces, but you have to think that half of this is the edge control. <laughs> So really you're only getting six ounces of the gel. And I got lucky and I did use the gel instead of <laughs> the edge control because y'all, this thing confused me and I was scared, but thankfully I used the right side. But anyways, so if you're in the market more so for a gel and you don't really care about edge control, then this really isn't that great of a buy because you get only six ounces of the gel for $17.99, whereas you get this whole entire container full of gel at $14.99. I really do enjoy both of these gels. They gave me great results. It's more so of what you're looking for. If you want a little bit more volume, you want a little bit more uh, soft of a wash and go, then definitely the Cheers Gelato is for you. But if you want um, a little bit more definition, a little bit more elongation, a slightly more sleek, Fill, then I would definitely go for the Proceed with Caution Gel, but both of these, 
are bomb. They're, they're bomb. And I will continue to use them. All right, y'all, so that is it for this review and this battle between these two, the main choice gels. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below in the comments which side you like better, if you like the Proceed with Caution side better or the Cheers Gelato side better. I'm just curious as to which one y'all prefer. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching. And until the next video, I'll see y'all later. Bye.